Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Basic Elements of Unified Communications. Today I'm going to be talking about unified communications, and then I'm going to move on to some unified communication concepts, and then I'm going to end with voice over IP. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I will begin this session by talking about unified communication. Now, unified communications is not encompassed by a single product or device. It's a growing category in the enterprise network. Unified communication, or UC, is the set of products and services that attempts to provide a consistent single user interface and experience across different media types and different devices. UC allows a user to send a message from one type of media, as in email, and have that media received as a different type of media. That email could become a text message or a voicemail. So now let's talk about some unified communication devices. First up is the UC server. These are specialized servers, which quite often are virtual in nature, that are designed to implement unified communication solutions in the workplace. The UC servers work in conjunction with UC gateways. A UC gateway is a network device that is designed to translate between different signaling methods, as in a voice over IP gateway, which will translate an analog public switch telephone network voice signal into a signal that can be understood on the VoIP network. There are some other UC devices. Any device that can be used in the implementation of a unified communication solution is considered a UC device. They may include, but are not limited to, VoIP phones, email systems, video conferencing systems, and instant messaging networks. Now let's move on to some unified communications concepts. The first concept that we're going to discuss is presence. Now, presence is an indicator that is used to communicate the willingness or ability of a user to accept communication. Common presence statuses include available, online, offline, busy, and do not disturb. Presence services are an important service provided in UC solutions as they will track the individual users across multiple devices and networks in real time through the use of multicast transmissions. Once a communication session has been established, multicast communication is dropped and unicast network transmissions are used. Another UC concept that you need to grasp is quality of service. Quality of service techniques are implemented to improve unified communication by managing network traffic. The most common implementation of quality of service is class of service, COS. COS is a quality of service technique that's used to manage network traffic by grouping similar types of traffic and assigning a network priority to that traffic as in unified communication traffic is given a higher priority than email. A 6-bit differentiated service code point, DSCP, is used in the IP header to establish the COS or class of service. Now let's move on to voice over IP. VoIP is one of the most common implementations in a unified communication solution. Through the use of a presence service, calls can be routed to the correct location for where the user is at. Two important protocols used in voice over IP are session initiation protocol, SIP, and real-time transport protocol, RTP. SIP has two purposes. First, it is used to establish a communication session between two endpoints. The other purpose is that once the session is completed, SIP tears down that connection between the two endpoints. During the communication session, RTP is used as the transport call, 
helping to provide that quality of service through COS to the endpoints. Now that concludes this session on the basic elements of unified communication. I talked about unified communications, and then I moved on to some unified communication concepts, and I concluded with a brief discussion on voice over IP. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope you watch another one soon.